I'm gonna give a little bit of a story quick on what all is here. So this is March 20th, 2024, and we are in Ghana, the country of Ghana in Western Africa. And two year and a half ago, roughly, there was a little shed, or a shed that you see there, and a well. Since then, we have started the company called Gus Farming, and we have shipped over a lot of what you see. That sprayer over there, the corn planter that's uncovered, the one that's got a blue tarp on it, we shipped over. We've shipped over those gravity wagons and shipping containers, and there's two more that are getting put together. There's a John Deere corn planter right there by the house that's sitting there. <clears throat> that was a four row and a two row that we bought here in country and welded, uh, had a local welder weld row unit on each end to make a six row. We've got more water tanks for being able to spray. Gravity wagon, it's got the tires put on it. We have to take the tires off, slide the uh, gravity wagon in the container sideways. Whole bunch of stuff. And here is the pretty amazing part of this. To handle grain, we needed a grain dryer because we have to dry the maize in uh, during our harvest in August of what we did in 2023. LP tank, because we have to have LP for that dryer and it's a souk up grain bin. It's about 20,000 bushel of uh, storage uh, struck level just at the, just at the uh, bottom of the roof there. And so we are trying to grow maize. We grew a crop of maize planted last March of 23, harvested in August, replanted it back to maize, and then harvested that crop in January of 2024. So we're waiting for rain now to be able to plant first crop. Ground's really hard. They've only had about an inch and seven tenths here in the last couple of weeks. Uh, prior to that, the last rain was roughly the 20th of November. So we're working on some things. We had a pump problem with the sprayer, so that's getting fixed. So it's uh, probably one o'clock, 1.30, something like that. We got done with taking a break, a half hour, 45 minutes, something like that, after finishing putting that last gravity wagon together. And those guys were taking a break. They sat down, had a little snack. I turned around, they got that thing almost done, which four months ago, these guys weren't helping us. They just take control, take charge, and get stuff built, and get it put together. It's awesome. It's good to have them. So we found the bolts to put the sides on, the extensions. windy in the, in the microphone, but it's really nice to have a breeze. I'm sure it's, I would guess, I don't even know what time it is, late morning, we'll check, see what the temperature is, but my guess is it's probably pushing 100 heat index already in the breeze. It really makes it better. It's not a hot wind, it actually feels pretty good, even though the humidity is is up there. So, we got lots of things going on. Cal's over there going to weld uh, the pin that holds on the three-point on a little fertilizer spreader. We really need a pull tape spreader. We found one. We just need to get things into position to get it ordered. <clears throat> and uh, it'll have a hydraulic drive. It's a nice uh, to have. But we have this and we're gonna do some welding. Thank you. 
have some more, we'll put it later. I wanted to put it early. So we uh, obviously haven't had any rain. The ground's really dry. This is where we planted those uh, white beans yesterday. So we got a bucket of water. Started uh, some flood irrigation. We did it. Probably end up watering it morning and evening. As the ground around it, of course, is really dry. It's going to soak up. And so we need to get the, uh, we need a little bitty uh, two foot long pivot. Maybe Ranky or Zomatic would help us out. I don't think, I'm not going to. So what have we been up to, Cal? Uh, we got the container, not the containers, the Parker wagons out and uh, put together. Uh, went in and got the uh, fertilizer spreader that broke, welded back together. Uh, Travis got the sprayer working pretty good, he thinks. And uh, Logan's getting the 65 put back together for the uh, steering column in there, the hydraulic steering. Yep, we had a uh, little bit of a crack on the uh, gravity wagon, so got that welded up. We'll uh, get the top on it here pretty soon.